Psalm 81 in this third segment continues from verse 3 about the prophetic significance of the sounding of the trumpet. The trumpet shall be sounded at the ascension of a new king. 1 Kings 1, 34 reads, There Zadok the priest and Nathan the prophet are to anoint him king over Israel. Then blow the trumpets and shout, Long live King Solomon. In verse 39 we read, There Zadok the priest took a flask of olive oil and from, from the sacred tent and poured it on Solomon's head. Then the trumpets were blown and all of the people shouted, Long live King Solomon. The battle cry and call to arms at Armageddon sounds, and on that day of our Lord's arrival, we read in Zephaniah 1, 14 through 16, That terrible day of the Lord is near, swiftly it comes, a day when strong men will cry bitterly. It is a day when the Lord's anger will be poured out. It is a day of terrible distress and anguish, a day of ruin and desolation, a day of darkness and gloom, of clouds blackness, trumpet calls, and a battle cries. Down go the walled cities and the strongest battlements. Heavenly trumpets will sound as King Jesus reassumes the throne in Jerusalem. Zechariah uh, 9.14 reads, The Lord will appear above his people. His arrows will fly like lightning. The sovereign Lord will sound the trumpet, and he will go out against the enemies like a whirlwind from the southern desert. And then verse 16 reads, When that day arrives, the Lord, their God, will rescue his people just as a shepherd rescues his sheep. They will sparkle in his land like jewels in a crown. In this compiler's mind, these two passages from Zechariah 9, 14 and 16 clearly point to the end of the seven-year tribulation. This battle, our Lord will fight miraculously which leaves no excuse for any to deny his authority and intervention. If you hold to the accepted pre-tribulation theology that has the church in heaven as the bride, uh, raptured or caught up, then you must concede that his elect people still here on earth must be Israel. Two linked passages come to mind. The first is found in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 17. For our information, this is the pre-tribulation position. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout and with the archangel's voice and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. That we, then we who are still alive will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet with the Lord in the air, and so we will be with the Lord always. And in 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 52, it says, Listen, I am telling you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a moment in the blink of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we will all be changed. 